Today brings with it some updates on what Intel are doing with KBLank as Intel are preparing a range of overclocking chips based on the upcoming KB Lake architecture. We have already seen what the Core i7 and i5K series chips are up to, but le latest leaks suggest that Intel would also be offering at least one i3K series processor. Now the Intel Core i3-7350K is actually pretty interesting as it will bring overclocking back to the masses. Now you probably recall that previously Intel excluded overclocking support on Core i3 processors but due to demand that will be making a return. Now as you probably know their i3s are generally a step ahead of their Pentiums and get higher clock speeds that obviously result in better performance. In the past we've seen i3 models feature hyper threading and with KB Lake even some Pentiums are going to be featuring hyper threading support. However, looking more specifically at the i3-7350K, this chip has a maximum boost clock of 4.2GHz out of the box. It has 4 megabytes of L3 cache and this will be the only K series processor in the i3 KB Lake processor. The TDP will be set at 91 watts which is the same as the i7s and i5 K series models. As for the pricing it's suggested to be around $150 to $180 US which is pretty decent for entry level who also want to have that capability of overclocking. And they're also getting suggestions that the processor will be a dual core variant with four threads. So this is actually really interesting for consumers as of course you know, Intel are bringing back that overclocking to their sort of lower end i3s after a pretty long time. Chip will be under 200 US dollars so if you're looking for a cheaper system with still a little bit of flexibility this is going to offer that quite nicely especially if you can't go for the $230 7600K of course we have to wait until CES 2017 before we get more details on the performance and the exact pricing and all that sort of thing but it is still really interesting that overclocking is making its way back to i3 however all that said let's briefly revisit what we have on the menu for KB Lake. We of course have the 7700K which is the fastest i7 KB Lake CPU. It has a quad-core multi-threaded design, is of course based on the 14NM Plus process node which has improved efficiency and performance on the existing 14NM FinFET tech. Clock speeds are rated at 4.2GHz base and 4.5GHz boost. It has 8 megs of 3 cache and a TDP of 91 watts. It will be a fairly wallet stinging $349 US. Next up is the i5-7600K which is the fastest i5 KB Lake processor. It has again quad core but non multi threaded design again based on 14NM+. Clock speeds are 3.8GHz base and 4.2GHz boost. It has 6 megs of L3 cache and again a TDP of 91 watts which is going to cost you $239 US. And of course there's also the i3 which we've already gone over but just to kind of refresh your memory and compare it against what we just said. It of course has a dual core, multi-threaded design based on 14NM plus and 4.0 to 4.2GHz boost with 4 megs of L3 cache and a TDP of 91 watts and of course we don't exactly know the price yet but it's expected to be about $180 US. So kind of gives you an idea of what to expect in terms of value for money. I mean, the i3 seems pretty damn tasty to be honest if you're looking for an upgrade but don't want to spend the cash assuming of course you know this isn't already weaker than what you already have you upgraded fairly recently it might not be worth upgrading of course but if you're perhaps a few years behind in the i3 it might actually be worth considering now that we know it will be supporting that overclocking capability so with all that said thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time